The Sun is midway through its stable hydrogen burning phase, known as the main sequence. But when the Sun enters the red giant phase in around 5 billion years, things are going to get a lot tougher in the Earth-Moon system. During the red giant phase, the Sun will swell until its distended atmosphere reaches out to envelop the Earth and Moon, which will both begin to be affected by gas drag, the space through which they orbit will contain more molecules. The Moon is now moving away from Earth, and by then will be in an orbit that's about 40% larger than today. It will be the first to warp under the Sun's influence. The Moon's actual path is a wiggly line around the Sun, with it moving faster when it is slightly farther out at full Moon, and more slowly when it is slightly closer at new Moon," said Lee Ann Wilson of Iowa State University. So the gas drag is more effective at the farther part of the orbit, and this will put the Moon into an orbit where the new Moon is closer to the Earth than the full Moon. Today the Moon is on average 239,000 miles away and has reached this point after a long and dramatic journey. Earth's Moon was born around 4.5 billion years ago in a titanic collision between our planet and a Mars-sized sibling according to leading theory. The enormous impact threw debris into orbit around the young Earth, and from this maelstrom, the Moon coalesced. For the last few billion years, the Moon's gravity has been raising tides in Earth's ocean, which the fast-spinning Earth attempts to drag ahead of the sluggishly orbiting Moon. The result is that the Moon is being pushed away from the Earth by 1.6 inches, 4 centimeters per year, and our planet's rotation is slowing. If left unabated, the Moon will continue in its retreat until it would take about 47 days to orbit the Earth. Both Earth and Moon would then keep the same face permanently turned toward one another as Earth's spin would also have slowed to one rotation every 47 days. The Sun's mutation into a red giant provides a huge stumbling block to the Moon's getaway and is likely to ensure the Moon ends its days the way it began, as a ring of Earth-girdling debris. The density and temperature both increase rapidly near the apparent surface photosphere of the future giant Sun, Wilson explained. As the Earth and Moon near this blistering hot region, the drag caused by the Sun's extended atmosphere will cause the Moon's orbit to decay. The Moon will swing even closer to Earth until it reaches a point 11,470 miles above our planet, a point termed the Roche limit. Reaching the Roche limit means that the gravity holding it, the Moon, together is weaker than the tidal forces acting to pull it apart, Wilson said. The Moon will be torn to pieces, and every crater, mountain valley, footprint, and flag will be scattered to a spectacular 23,000 mile diameter. Saturn-like ring of debris above Earth's equator. The new rings will be short-lived. Theory dictates they'll eventually rain down on the Earth's surface. Particles of different masses will have different survival times. The smaller particles will be removed first, and the biggest ones last. Most of the ring's particles would be gone by the time the Earth reaches the stellar photosphere, Wilson said. If the Sun's photosphere reaches Earth, our planet too will begin to experience drag and spiral into the Sun to be incinerated. There are possible natural alternatives, however. If the Sun as a red giant slows off enough material before Earth evaporates, our planet will be revealed from its stellar cocoon in a moonless guise. Earth, robbed of its companion, would undertake a lonely vigil as the sun turns eventually into a stellar corpse called a white dwarf, fading to black over the ensuing trillions of years. Alternatively, if the swelling sun loses 20% of its mass prior to it reaching our vicinity, both Earth and Moon could be spared incineration and remain together facing each other for eternity. The actual outcome remains a theoretical uncertainty because no red giant star has been observed during this crucial phase. This was Earth's Moon Destined to Disintegrate by David Powell, a special to Space.com, posted January 22, 2007, 6.04 a.m. Eastern Time.